All right, welcome back to some more Crab Champions. Uh, we're trying out the new update in the beta once again, but the last episode did not go according to plan. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but we're doing the auto shotgun today with shotgun blast, I guess, which is kind of funky. I think we, we try again. Let's try again. What do we get? Mortar turret. I will... Ah, it's not that good. It's not that good. You know, we really need to secure a win here. We need to get another diamond run. Big chest is great. More choices. I will definitely take that over anything else so far. I don't want to waste all my keys to just reset every time, but I want a good start for these diamond runs because you can get really unlucky with the start. I don't think it's really that like unfair to just reset like that because if I have the keys to spend, I have the keys to spend. So I'm deciding to waste them, I guess. But auto shotgun has a little bit longer range than uh, the counterpart, the dual shotties. But I will say this new shotgun sound is very it has a lot of oomph to it i don't know if that makes sense it feels good bouncing shot i mean do i want to bounce my shots we could go for wind up maybe that's only percentage based damage and the shotguns are very weak let's go for i want to say big grenade maybe even these are all kind of just bad armored enemies and energy rings for double elemental i'll take the elemental but Armored enemies are not fun to deal with early on because we don't have a lot of damage. But also the armor doesn't, like, it's not that hard to kill them because they are weak at the start. Except that that is a lot of skulls. Yeah, the shotgun's doing like 3 to 2 damage per hit is so poor. I, 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 I know that you're doing a lot of shots, but... Everything in this game is like percentage based except for sharp shot and they've nerfed that to the ground. So it's kind of hard to justify using a weapon like this when like everything that has percentage base is just going to do so much better on rocket launcher or like, I don't know, anything like the sniper. The sniper is a really good weapon in this game, I think. I think it'd be interesting to see more flat based damage. Ways to increase, like, it's sort of like, if you think about Bellatro terms, uh, the, everything is the multiplier, basically, like, the percentage is all the multipliers, but there's no way to gain more chips, if that makes sense. I feel like there's not many ways to gain more chips. So even though the multiplier is very, very big, my base chips, I don't know why I'm talking in Bellatro terms, but I think that makes sense, right? Like, the base terms are, the base chips are just so low, it's hard to justify using a weapon that has low base chips if you can't multiply it high. For example, the sniper does like 50 damage base. So 50 times two is immediately 100 damage. But if you have the, the laser cannons, which do two damage, then you have a two times multiplier, like 100% more damage. It's four damage, <laughs> which is so bad. I'm going to go into a poison build maybe today. Let's see if we can get double poison. We did not. We got one arcane. We got two arcanes. I like to go for things. Whenever I have a double chest like this, I like to try and grab something that can like up the multiplier for the ch like the proc chance. like Because that just makes your run go crazy. And honestly, I think arcane is one of the strongest uh, modifiers anyway. Like status effects. I, I keep saying it, but I really think that Poison and uh, Arcane should swap. I know that might not work for a lot of the items. I think you can just change up all the items that do one or the other. Uh, okay. Duplicating ring. Get an extra chest when flawlessly clearing elite or boss islands. What are elite islands? Coral Amethyst chest contain three more loot choices. That is insane. Uh, we go for another elemental, and hopefully for arcane or even poison I'll take. Yeah, this is a good start. I would say that this weapon is not that great, because like I said, the base damage is so low that it's hard to get a good over unstoppable run going. Only upside to these weapons with lower weapon damage um, is either they shoot fast, which this, this one shoots decently fast. Um... Or they have like a high magazine size so you can shoot a lot and proc a lot more because I think that the proc chance is like decent with 
how often you're shooting. But it's usually... Oh my god, there's so many choices. Uh, let's try... Let's try, like, making Arcane Shot, like, insanely, like, guaranteed. Um, but yeah, I, I think that there's a lot of downsides to these weapons that have low damage. And their upside is not as good as uh, other weapons that can basically just output way more damage way faster. But this is still going pretty well. I think having an early arcane shot that is basically 50 50 uh, is going to be good for bosses. Because that's how you melt bosses. Just have a lot of things that can tank damn like tank health very quickly. That was a chaotic grub just vibing back here. Oh, he respawned. Oh my god. I didn't see that. Okay. That could have been catastrophic, actually. Blind fire. I'm going to not do that. I don't like increasing spread that much. Whoa. Shops always contain a pedestal that is discounted by 75%. That's okay. I could go into Arcane Shop more. Dashing reloading your weapon kind of sounds fun. But I think that wind up... Shots deal more damage for each shot fired until stopping fire. Unfortunately, I can't get both of these. I wonder if that counts as stopping fire. Uh, okay, they've changed the wording of this now, by the way. It's until not until reloading. That makes sense. That's why the minigun works the way it does, because windup is just like that. Uh, I think it makes the most sense here to just get arcane shot. We'll go elemental again, hopefully get another arcane shot, and then we're like basically doing arcane shot all the time. And yeah, I don't know if they've changed it to make it so Arcane Shot is one shot on the shotguns or every bullet has a chance. Because that's where like shotguns were kind of kind of goaded was like you, you basically could proc every time um, based on the fact that every shot is getting like a 25% chance to proc the Arcane. Why does their why does their sniper sound so much more intense than like the one that I like tested it out the last of the, uh, last episode, and like it still sounds the way it did before. God, this this thing is disgusting. Actually, this arcane build is so good. Oh, okay, okay. It's sort of a delayed satisfaction, like a delayed gratification. You, okay, yeah, we go arcane shot again. I think there's a diminishing returns. We have seventy four percent. It's pretty good. Um. There's like a delayed gratification for Arcane because you don't really do damage right away. You kind of stack your stuff and then all of a sudden you start seeing the enemies melt after a while. So you have to like make sure you really stack stuff and then survive. Uh, Tony's Black Heart. Let's grab that as a, as a thing in the future. Like you can see here, like once I stack here, then the stacks of Arcane are going to be doing... Yeah. It does zero on the second. I don't think it's actually doing zero. It looks like it's actually doing the amount... That's bizarre. I don't really know what's happening there. It's saying zero every other one. Yeah, let's let's stack up the arcane and let's see, let's see how he chunks. Yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. Like arcane is disgusting when you get it like super high. It might be the best status effect in the game. I would say next to poison, which can just make your shots do ungodly amounts of damage. Grab silver heart early here. Damage aura or big chest. Damage shot, once again, damage shot is great for weapons that do damage, um, but this does not. And unfortunately, like that's only going to make it like, I think, 200% damage, which 100% more damage, which is like three more damage. So with that in mind, I think dam dam people have said damage aura is really good. Like it's really strong. And I agree. I think that yeah, I hope we can get like something that makes auras bigger. But like this is just good damage. Just standing next to things, just melting this guy. Yeah, I would say an arcane build like this can't really go wrong as long as we aren't dumb. Although we've seen it go wrong. Snipers are my worst enemy, I think, in the game. They're probably the reason for the most deaths, at least in the latest updates because of how strong they are and how hard it is to avoid them if you're not paying attention. 
Uh, none of these are really that good, but did I thought I got a hip fire already? No, nope. I only have arcane shot. We're already hip firing anyway. So let's go for a flawless chest, and we have to capture all the reward zones. Okay. Now I think my theory is correct on these maps. I think you, uh, you only spawn enemies when you're starting to capture the zone. There's one. That just immediately chunked that that slug. Okay, another reward zone here. Can we two for one? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. A little risky. What is happening? Probably shouldn't be so dumb with my choices here. I'm being very aggressive. There are three rocks back here I can blow up and hopefully just make everything die. Okay, we should capture this and win. Yeah, this noise needs changing. I think that's uh, it's a little much. Maybe that's just me. I think like maybe like a um, like a slowly building up sound would be cool. Uh, Red Fury again. Sneak shots. FMJ. Time shot. Time shot's interesting. Kind of goes into that whole melting build. I think just because of how troll that is, I'm going to do it. Um, they do more damage, but everything's just going to be like a melt build. I'm going to try that. It's kind of a dumb choice, in my opinion, especially with a low damage. Um, a low damage weapon. But I will say the only good thing about time shot is that as long as enemies are taking damage, I don't think they regenerate health on on Nightmare Plus Plus Plus. Um, also, it's just true. It's called True Nightmare now. That's very cool. I just realized that this time. I think that was there the whole time last game, and I did not notice. Orbiting scythes gain short-lived orbiting scythes when eliminating enemies. I mean, I have to get that right. Like I, we've never seen that before. I feel like I gotta do that. Yeah, we got to try that. And we're doing definitely a horde of flawless uh, type here. We're going to try and get more arcane shot. Let's get 100%. Um, my goodness. What is happening? Um, That's not visually impossible to see what's going on. Nope, definitely fine. No, I, I think I might have to get rid of this. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, like. What is going on? Um, we go for arcane shot. I think we almost guarantee we're at eighty-seven percent, ninety-nine percent. Okay, we have it. We have guaranteed. We have a uh, guaranteed, uh, what's it called? Guaranteed arcane. So I think now we go into building stacks. So extra like potent magic or whatever. Are these scythes might need to be changed. I think they should be like probably reduced opacity or just like, I like the size of them. Like it's very cool, but something needs to change with them. They're very difficult to see. Like everything's just crazy. All right, well done. Damage shot once again. Damage aura being upgraded would be kind of crazy. Why are my shots not shooting? Can you not shoot in this place? Maybe you can't shoot in this place. Uh, orbiting scythe. What does that do? Does it make more scythe spawn? Okay, no. It says each scythe. So there's no like spawn one scythe, spawn two scythe. That'd be really, really funny though. Aura shot goes kind of hard with multiple shots but I, I don't want to go into scythes because I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably remove them they're a little bit too 
too jank right now, I would say. Triple shot is probably actually bad now that I think about it. Because on shotguns, I think it reduces your bullet count to three. Uh, what is damage doing right now? Damage is doing 20 damage per second. Let's make that 40 and let's go for an upgrade. Ow. Visually, this is a, the probably the messiest run I've played of this game. I'm stuck on the rocks. Ow. There is really no reason for time shot. Like, it really isn't doing anything for our build. Because enemies are already taking tick damage. We need, we need survivability, too. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. Damage aura again. Do we go it again? Arcane shot's trolling. Like, that's just, like, not necessary. I think we do damage aura again, and we do 60 damage per second. And then we heal up. I do want to figure out what this enhancement is for. Light shot. No. Fast shot. No. Uh, we need something better. Silver heart. That's definitely, definitely a way to, uh, make ourselves survive a little better. We did have a, a, a silver heart already, I believe, but it's all good. Let's see how we do here. Usually this map, they just fall off. So I'm just gonna like chill. That doesn't even matter. Like that's like stupid damage. This should just melt him. Yeah. I don't know about these scythes, though. I really need to evaluate my situation here. It's so hard to see what's going on. Let's get our key. Streamer loot. Uh, let's go for armor. Yes, the desert. I love this place. This biome is so cool. It feels appropriate. I always said this should probably be a thing. I think the next thing we need is just like actual caves. Like a dark caves with like glowing crystals. It'll be a cool biome for sure. Also, I hope that duel gets worked on because right now it's not in a good spot. Sharp shot's actually a good choice here. Actually, collector might be better. No, honestly, it's so hard to get extra damage. With this, I'm going to go damage aura. I'm just going to go damage aura. I'm going to go for an upgrade. I see a, I see a fuse. I'm going to grab this. Deal with the pumpkin if we can. We have good damage. It just takes a second because we need to get enough stacks on enemies to get really get them to melt. But the second we do, everything starts dying immediately. Okay. The scythes need to chill, man. I don't know, but I don't know about these scythes. It's a little bit, a little bit wacky. Big chest streamer loot. Let me go for streamer loot again. Go for a random. If you have good damage, also, I think that, like, the nest levels are just the best way to clear. So if you're trying to, like, speedrun this game in the current state, I think that... Um, this is insane, by the way. I just don't understand these sites. It's, they haven't been as visually, like, messy um, as they were when I first got them. But I think it's the trails. Collector... Gold coating. Full four armor. Is that new that it's gaining two? I think that is new. Um we have quite a few perks. I don't know. I think it's not weapon damage though. I'm gonna see. 
Yeah, our weapon damage is 175, 2% per perk. It is global damage, actually. Global damage is 124%, so that's, that's all right. I think the scythes are actually really good, so I maybe should have upgraded them. Like, they are really good. They're just so messy. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them. Because, like, what is even happening? Like, what? Nah. Nah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about all this. <laughs> no, but, like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, Danger close, I think, right? Ring of armor. Gain armor plates if starting with no armor. That's pretty good, but I think I'm going to go danger close and sort of build into the scythe, actually. I I think that is my new game plan because that was hilarious. I think visually, I don't know if it's like too much to watch, but it's certainly funny to play with. The arcane stacks are insane. Holy. If I just stand right here, he's going to melt. Goodbye. Oh, he decided to try to outsmart me. Too bad. Money is power. I think I go for... More shop? I, this is like just a great amount of things. I'm going to go for elite. Hopefully get an epic chest. Because we should be able to melt these bosses pretty dang quick. That is, of course, unless the bosses take me out first. But, uh, nope. They do not. Exploding enemies. Streamer loot again. I think I'm actually... It's crazy enough. I'm going for a streamer loot. If we can, like, get a really high rarity... Then we're going to start getting crazy mods, I think. And we have a lot of money to spend in the shop. Things are already very expensive, though. Tony's black card. Fortitude is really good. We've got survivability. I'm going to buy this armor. I'm going to grab another streamer loot, too. And another... Oh. Let's make it 100%. Why not? Yeah, I, we got 1% for that. It's not a... I don't know why I did that, to be honest. Trick shot. Tony's black card. Yeah, things are very cheap. Okay, this guy's gonna melt in a second once we remove the uh, the health, yeah, or the shield. Goodbye. And goodbye. Double key, big chest again. Orbiting scythes. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, we grab 200 extra HP? I think so. Okay. Let's get it. We just like jump around, kill a few enemies, and then and run around with our scythe. So we basically win. Okay. I was hoping for damaging scythes, but uh, orbiting scythes. I'm going to grab damage aura. We're at 100 damage per second, I think. Yep. Normal. Uh, energy rings, homing thorns. A little scary. Definitely a little scary. Uh, yeah, very scary, actually. Because I can't really control when these guys die. Yeah, they're just going to die, and I have to keep running. Oh, it blew up. No. I have no armor left. Just 
So I'll be able to kill everything from far enough away that the energy rings and thorns won't come to me. What's left? Oh, okay. What is even happening? <laughs> uh, damage aura again. Orbiting scythes. Yes. Firework shot. Uh, sharp claws. Every fifth shot does more damage. Let's do Red Fury. Go for parkour here. Okay, so it's still the same parkour stage, I think. Looks the exact same. Easy enough. Okay. Oh, do these have to do with the number of wins? I don't think this is just random number of crowns here. I think it is. You can't shoot here for some reason. I thought it was orbiting scythes. I was ready for it. Ring of luck. Luck increased by 75%. Luck makes chance-based mods more likely to trigger and increase odds of getting higher rarity loot from chests. So what do we have chance-based? I don't think we have anything. But it does make our luck 275% chance. I don't realize luck actually increased the chance based mods to happen. That's interesting. Um, that uh, this is um, close motion is like whatever. It's not that special. Um. Let's just get more choices, I guess. Uh, you know what? Ring of Luck, I don't have... I'm not, I'm not ever going to fill up my relics, so let's do that. Yeah, come on. I dare you to get near me. Come on. Didn't think so. Okay, grenade, grenade crabs, I respect you. I respect you. That was a good timing from him. We're able to increase our health a little bit by fortitude, but it's not a whole heck of a lot. We gotta get better damage or better uh, resistance. Four armor plates might be the play. Or do I go greedy? I think I grabbed four armor plates. I think that would be very stupid of me to like go into luck again. But each of these give me 50% luck, so... I think I've got high enough luck that it doesn't really matter now. I'm going to find more streamer loot no matter what. Let's play it smart. Yeah, I'm really glad I got the uh, the armor plates. There's a black hole here. Yeah, very happy that I got the armor plates. Probably would have died. Time shot is probably ruining our damage quite a lot. We could remove it. Big chest again. Do we go for it? Ring of rocket jumping. Friendly explosions cause you to jump into the air. That sounds hilarious, but I really need to get that with like a rocket launcher, I think. All you can eat. No ammo used after eliminating enemy. I think that sounds pretty dang good, actually. Let's do that. Let's kill an enemy and then now we can just shoot forever. Oh, that's a good it's a sniper crab. Oh no. Stop it. No, dude, they're so strong.
I can still very easily lose this. The audio is glitching out, man. What is happening? We need armor. We need armor. Poison, maybe? Poison aura. Fire aura. Ice aura. These are all kind of bad auras. Poison aura, I guess, is okay. It's not great. It's not fantastic. I would love I would love better items, please. And some defense. Uh, health is okay, but I would like actual armor plates. That's way too expensive. Yeah, armor, please. Armor, armor, armor. Potent magic is very good. I need this. Tony's black card. I guess we're going in with this health. And we're praying. Uh, this is an enhancement. Once again, we can't do anything. I can't reach the boss. What I'm hoping to do is just increase the stacks on this boss as much as I can and then focus on the other one afterwards. But he's gotten in my way, so now I'm focusing on this guy. Like we should have a guaranteed shots for, for Arcane. He is reducing the Arcane very quickly. Holy! I'm getting sniped in the air, man. What is happening? It's hard to keep the stacks going. He seems to clear them or something. Yeah, the boss is clearing the stacks. Like, there, he's cleared the stacks again. Like, I'm deleting the other enemies pretty easily. Some sort of debuff removal on these on these bosses is, I think that's been a thing for a little bit. But it is crazy how powerful that is because I I would immediately melt these guys if if they didn't have that. Okay, that might have been a bad move for me to jump in the middle like that, but we're back to full HP. Halfway there, can we get the auto shotty done? Let's find out. Anything crazy. Let me get the gold armor, I think. Splash damage. Random mods and perks are upgraded to the next level after clearing every third island. That could be really good. I mean... Okay. Our choice is made. It's one of the best perks in the game. I feel like you can't really... You can't ignore it. It's just very good. And with the uh, the new uh, upgrade upgraded level of like the looped enemies, I feel like regenerating armor is even more important now. I can't really tell what it's carrying my build right now. Is it is it the scythes? Is it the damage aura? Is it the the melting build with the arcane? I think it's the arcane that's really doing the most damage. Collector, orbiting sites. I mean, maybe the sites will start to be the one that does the most damage. I don't, I don't know. I think it kind of is doing a lot of damage, though. Like, once once it's out, it doesn't last for very long. It just kind of spins, and then... But if you can get it, like, stacking like this, they do have damage to keep going. Oh, 
I'm glad I didn't throw them out because they are fun to use. And I, I think that the only reason it was so crazy was because I killed like a, a mass mob of enemies when I first picked it up. So I thought that's what they look like at all times. And I mean, obviously they're very strong. Damage aura, damage shot. I think we go for the damage aura. We're kind of like doing this build where if we just stand near enemies, we're going to melt them. So danger close will be very good as well to go for. Ow. Even though we do regenerate armor, we are losing more armor per, per stage right now than we gain. So we got to get a net positive here. Try to be a little safer. Tony's black card, collector, streamer loot, juiced. Juiced is good. I feel like you can't really, you can't really dismiss juice here. It's, it's very good. Tony's black card could be crazy though. If you get if you get Tony's black card strong enough, it actually becomes the point where you can sell back items for more than you bought them and you have infinite money if you can get the totem to last a long time. And this is where the size go crazy. Like visually, I don't even know what's happening. Like I said, we are losing a lot of our stacks of armor, and it's the only way to really really protect ourselves from snipers. So I gotta be a little careful. I ran out of all my armor again. Okay, a thousand HP. That's still not I don't think that's enough to really stop a one shot sniper. Critical blast. I don't think we have any critical chance yet, so let's buy that. One hit with homing thorns. I'll go for skill chest. This, I feel like the speedy enemies are faster than they were before. This is incredibly... Like, they're insanely fast. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. I went from 100 to 0, basically, again. I Oh, man. The new nightmare, like, the true nightmare with, like, round 2 is insanely strong. I like the scythes, but they, I don't think they were doing that much damage in the end. It was fun. It was a fun build. I think I'll probably avoid buying those the next time, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I, we need to get a diamond run, man. We need to we need to get these weapons. Uh, I might try the seagull again next time. Uh, and I'm interested to see how that rocket jump ring works. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. A little bit shorter one because we didn't get very far on the second round. But it's insane how much importance there is to like armor now. And that regenerating armor was already a really strong perk. But I think even more than that, like more than before. It is 100% required to get a lot of armor. And I think that's why now when you buy the single tier armor, he gives two <laughs> armors. Either way, until next time, have a good day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.